Here we are behind the Kendrick Llama. Shocker. What's up guys, today I'm back with another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be showing off a better Roblox V2, which is basically just upgrading your Roblox menu. Now, first of all, you want to head... First of all, you want to head... First of all, you want to head to your Discord. Once you're at your Discord, you join the Better Roblox V2 Discord server, which will be in the description at the scripts part of my vids. If you're used to, you know, watch my vids. By the way, if you haven't subscribed, you should do that already because I make decent content. Trust. Anyways, what you want to do now is you want to go to script. And we got to get a few requirements and blah, 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 shit out of the way. First of all, you need to have a level 7 executor or higher. A Fixel Roblox client download. A medium performance PC. And a higher performance mobile device. Now, first of all, who the hell uses mobile? Anyways, now, if you are using these support executors, first of all, why are you using a Bitcoin miner? And second of all, you should probably switch to those. Now you want to grab the scripts. Paste it in your Synapse, and then press Execute. Well, I'm using Synapse, but everything else, it'll do the same. Now, once you have that loaded, your menu will immediately look different. Holy crap, what the hell? But let's run through the settings of this. Now, if you notice, first of all, well, y'all probably can't see, but we have in the bottom, Server Hub Max. In server hop minimum and rejoin now these are really useful for a lot of games one that i could really mention off is jailbreak or block fruits if you're trying to fruit grind and now you could go to your settings and you know you have your normal settings but then blam we got better roblox settings you could quickly search for settings see how much people are in here there's 29 better roblox users and I'm the only one in the server. Wah. There's also unsafe features in BTR chat. I'm going to turn on BTR chat. Never mind. It looks like that. Ew. But you can use that to chat to other better Roblox members. Notice sound volume. You could change this to your liking. And notification sounds are also here. I'm going to turn that to disabled. AFK optimize. If you want to go AFK in a game like Pest Simulator X, The Hood, or whatever you want to AFK, you can optimize it. Shocker. You can also um, modify the Discord settings in here. Shocker, I guess. Now we have the camera. I already tried to turn it on, so my FOV is already fucked up. But you could do FOV mo modifier, smooth FOV, and FOV amount. I guess I would do 120 since that's what I'm going to use for for Minecraft, but whatever. You do you. I do not know y'all weirdos personally. Chat related. We have chat spy, chat sounds, and show notice in chat. Basically, these are just, I guess, I don't know. And now you have themes, which is the main highlight of this video. You have themes enabled. You can do red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, and hot pink. You have brown, dark gray, black, and the normal Roblox theme. You could make your custom theme. Hold on, give me a second. Yo, I have my FNF circle. Now, if you don't want to be downloading row shades and all that there's also gfx session where you could change certain settings of the roblox display for you this just lowers your graphics color ambient makes everything more vibrant bloom i don't really know what it does it seems to make it more vibrant as well motion blur is motion blur i don't know why you would ever turn this on but it makes blur happen when you turn around. Full bright just makes everything bright. You don't have to worry about being in the dark ever again. This is really good for sp scary games if you want to be a little fucking cheater on them. You can also change the time of the day. Now, if I want to be a little spooky boy or whatever, I would set it at night and everything is dark. Damn, bro, this is dark in my skin. All right, now you have the scripts that I had in the people section or just right here. You could press rejoin, copy join code, server hub to a larger and smaller server. You could turn these off if you, oh, actually don't press them. If you want to press them, that just does whatever with them. So I press server hop and it hopped me to a larger server. Wowie. Anyways, now you have information. I can see there's 48 people in the server. So 
the script I said before about server hop works. Shocker. You can also put on performance overlay, join notification, leave notifications, and FES unlockers. And as you can see, if I walk around, there's also modifications to the text bubbles and everything. Look at that. I am Butters. If he was dollar store. <laughs> Wowie. God, my avatar is so fucking retarded. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you for 600 subs, and this is day two of my seven uploads. I want you to smash that like button, comment, or do whatever. I don't know. Give me support if you like the vid. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.